What's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to install this five panel angled mirror. I already set up the brackets kind of. I already know that I'm gonna cut off half of this because I'm only be using one of the holes. I would be trying to keep the original sun visors in there. We're gonna set up the brackets real quick with the smaller screw going into the square side on top. Since the smaller screws have that squared. A washer in between. Then we're gonna put the actual bracket. Then we're gonna put another washer. And then we're gonna put the nut in, securing all of these together. And do the same thing with the other bracket. This knob and the nut goes inside the knot. And this bolt goes on this end over here. Right here with the holes. Okay, so we're gonna start off with taking the sun visors off first. Two screws, one on each, one on the left and one on the right. And this side just comes cut off. All right, so we're definitely gonna cut half of it off so that way that when this sits, it sits flush and I'm able to keep the sun visors also at the same time. So I'm gonna go outside and cut this off. We're gonna chop a little bit of this off right here with the grinder. Something I didn't think of is creating a new hole, which I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go get the drill and drill a new hole so we don't have to grind too much off. So the bracket and the sun visor should be trimmed perfectly. Looks pretty good so far. Alright, cool. Put the other bolt in. Time to get the mirror. That's one of the many simple mods that is going to be in this car. This is what it looks like when everything's fully tightened. You can see it's pretty sturdy. I don't think I'd have any other way. I was also thinking of putting a universal touch screen right here in this area. So that way I could have a Bluetooth and kind of like an the previous owner did remove basically that entire center console. 